What's up everyone? It is the Big Game Hunter here and welcome back to our Let's Play Sly Cooper and Athevious Raccoonus in the last part. I swapped to Mario to show off his well, latest dance moves. No, not really. And also in the last part we completed Tide of Terror. And in this part, we're going to be starting the next mission in the game. My probably second favorite mission in this entire game already. So let's just get going. Alright, let's go. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish thigh. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. So he's holed up in Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Sly Cooper Inc. Sunset. Snake Eyes. Alright. Now, as much as I love this mission in, in the game, as we start... As we get ahead with a rocky start, I'll say right now, I really don't like the boss. And Sly, where are you going? Uh, darn it, why, why does my controller always do this? Okay, there we go. Alright. Uh, Sly! <laughs> Ugh, Sly, why do you have to be suicidal today? Alright. You done? Feel suicidal today, Sly? Huh? Okay, then. Alright, so let's just start collecting some clue balls and get to climbing. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land us safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. I love Bentley. All right, so just um, hit the circle button. There we go. We can now spin like crazy on narrow spots. But before we're going to cross over there, we want to get down here and get some clue balls and beat the crap out of this guy. All right, four, five, and there's a safe over there. So that should give us seven. Yay, I'm a nerd. Any over there? Nope. All right, then. I got to say... I've never really been to this part of America in my life, but I don't think American architecture is like this. Alright, these guys. I hate these guys. They are annoying. As I brilliantly didn't show you, but these... D trust me, those guys are annoying. Sly! What is with you? Wow. Already lost two lives. At least the clue bottles just saved if we die. <sighs> Please tell me I'm getting a move pretty soon that will make it so that these hazards won't be a, much of a hazard to me. Yes, I better not mess it up. Uh, good news is we're about ready to get a lucky charm. Okay, I blame myself for that one. I suck. 
Uh, Alright. Already five minutes in and we're not even close to the end. Heck, we haven't even... We haven't even gotten far out of the beginning yet. Alright, Lucky Charm, at least that'll help me if I fail, because I am always going for all clue bottles in this game, like I said, but I am not going for the time challenge, because that's just a waste of time. Alright, come on. Oh. <clears throat> that is what the Lucky Charms are for. Alright. Oh, what? Mm, I think my controller batteries are dying. Why did I say I was going to do... Uh, why was I choosing this as my next Let's Play viewers? I wonder why. As much as I say that I like this mission so much, I'm really not enjoying this part right now. Ow! Son of a... Go die in a fire. Go get the gas. Mmm! Okay, my controller must be working for the Phoenix Five if it's literally trying to get Sly killed in this. What the? Uh, controller! Alright, up here. And that does it for all the clue bottles out here, so I don't wor have to worry about out here again. Gladly enough. Man, that was a big waste of time. Alright. Go die in a fire, and you can also go die in a fire. Is there anything back there? Just being double sure, viewers, because I like to get most of the clue balls on one run. If not, then I like to just cut it around. What's with those flashing lights? The latest in high tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a goner. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Alright. Now see if I can get this without falling off. Uh, at least if I do fall off, we get hit a checkpoint. Mmm! Game! Game? Good. Alright, now let's just go over here. Anything? Nope. Now, for the fact that Sly proclaims himself to be a master thief, hence the name you're a thief, you're not supposed to be spotted by anyone, he does a really lousy job at that. Bye. I believe that the safe is nearby, but unfortunately we are not going to be able to get to the safe yet because we are, well, we're more than halfway done, but still. Uh, can I break these? I don't remember. No, I cannot. Lucky charm. Must have lucky charm. There's a safe up there, viewers, but for now, we cannot do anything about it. Ooh, extra life! Uh, aha! And again, aha! I almost missed those cool balls back there. Alright, so let's try not mess it up. Thank you. Thud, 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 whatever. Alright. Whoa! Sorry about that long period of silence. I believe the last of the clue balls should be right up here. Let's see. 
Five, six, seven. Please be three clue balls in here because I don't want to go back. <sighs> I'll be right back, viewers. I'm going to cut back to the previous parts of the level to try and find that last clue bottle. Aha! I forgot they pulled a jerk move right here, and there's the clue bottle that I was missing. That was a jerk move of a placement for a clue bottle for it. I mean it. A what? I didn't even get it. I wasn't even near it. What? Ah, uh, game. Uh, I think this game is working for the Phoenix Five. All right. A little bit of higher mathematics and voila! Dial in three one four. Three one four. Can I get the glitch? Can I get the glitch? Yes! Ha ha! Outstanding! You've uncovered Rob McCooper's patented explosive hat technique. Use the triangle button to toss your cap. Then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. Alright, so basically we our hat is now a mine. Which is weird. Why would you want to wear high explosives on your head? But anyways... BRB! I'm going to cut back to the key. And I will never say that again for the rest of my life. Well, maybe. Whatever! Shut up! Alright, we're back. This... This video has gotten more cuts in it than any other video I've made so far, aside from any Chapter 4 of Paper Mario I'm probably going to be... I did. Anyways, let's just smack this and get our key. How exactly do you hook that onto your cane sly? Seriously, I would like to know. Alright, so we go into the sewers. And now we're on Mugshot's turf. Alright, here we are at the hub world, and already flashlight guards! And I swear, they took the design- Well, this Mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place! Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chooses to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. Alright, now, as I was about to say before I was so rudely interrupted, I swear that the flashlight guards for this, for this mission, they got the outfits from these guys. They look like they're from the Matrix. Mr. Koopa. Alright, I guess this is a good time as ever to show off our mind technique. And Sly must have a hat factory inside his little backpack right there. Alright, so wait for the guard to get close to mine, and... Boom! Aha, I love it when a plan comes together, even though it really wasn't a plan, and mugshot. Yo, 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 it's the boss! You know, I need a voice to admit that may be driving everyone out of town. Necessary to set up shop might have taken a hit out of the business. So, now I hope you mugs will be obliged to any visitors and come here to lose their money in my casino. But, I got a reliable tip that a cop might be stupid around the operation. So, from now on, greet any visitors you see with a hail of it. Capiche? Where'd you come from? I don't remember you patrolling around outside. Ah, oh, well, Mugshot is my favorite um, Sly Cooper villain in, in, in the history of Sly Cooper. He really is. He's the funniest. All right. Well, with that done, I'm now just making our way to the hub area of the game. Oh, the mission. Next time on Let's Play Sly Cooper, we will be doing... The Boneyard, Boneyard Casino. Casino? Casino! Jeez. All right. See you guys next time. Later.